Come on, Candy, let's make out. Oh. Oh. No, not now, Johnny. Why? Why not? I feel there's something watching us. Something evil. It's Lauren. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a camera. <laughs> okay, thank you. Death. Death. We are all under the mummy's curse and will die one by one in this house. Oh. We want to get out of here! We can't! The door is locked! It is too late! The mummy walks among us! Where's me fangs? Who took me fangs? Uh, he's coming to you! That creature will never catch me. How can you say that? Because he'll be slipping in my trail of shit, that's why. Come on! Some more physicality to the scene. For Take you. that key out then if you're going to go again. Is it rattling? Rattling away. Maybe it's that stuff. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah. The, She's old, just... the enchanted key of oh. this skill as well. For the old key. Never lose that key. And more importantly, <laughs> never use. <laughs> <laughs> During the night, I'll scream, I'll cry, I'll beg you to give me that key, but don't. Give me. No matter what you see or hear, give me that key. Don't. Just, just close that. <laughs> give me the key. No. <laughs> okay, but you're my sidekick. You're not the boss of me. Well, I am, because you're my sidekick and I'm a charge. We're equal partners. This is 50-50. No, you're my sidekick. Right down the middle. No, Matt. You're my sidekick. But I'm Matt Griffin. Yeah. But you work for me, remember? I'm the private eye packing a big punch in big shoes. But my sidekick with the big punch and the big shoes never takes off his trench coat. So? So maybe he's afraid to take off his trench coat. Hey, I can take off my trench coat any time I want to. Yeah. You just watch. I'll take it off right now. Go on. I will. Go on, I dare you. No. Wait a minute, this is a trick. Ha, you can't, can you? I knew it. Get the door, will you? Why me? Just because I'm your sidekick? No, because you're standing right next to it. Yeah, yeah. Come in, it's open. Yep. It sounded good from out there. How it sounded from here? I feel like I, the, the coat, I feel like I sort of... Do you want me to go again? Yeah, I would mind doing it again. Hey, uh... Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, <clears throat> We, uh, we... Uh, what my colleague is trying to say is, hello, aren't you Dr. Roach? Yes, yes, Dr. Ackett, I, uh, hello. 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 Hi. This is Dr. Brandon Roach, and I am his colleague, Dr. Vona Hackett. Doctors, eh? 
Yes. Got anything for a cough? We're not those kind of doctors. Oh. No, these are scientists, Matt. They don't help people. That's right. Dr. Roach and Dr. Hackett are working at the Advanced Interdisciplinary Forensic Science Laboratories, and they need our help. Most impressive, Miss O'Casey. You see, Dr. Roach, how's that for a demonstration of the amazing powers of deduction? But, Doctor, you I have... told you there is something to these private eye types. But I spoke... But what, Brendan? Uh, Dr. Roach? I spoke at Miss O'Casey only an hour ago. You did? You instructed me, Dad, Doctor, to set up an appointment. When? During our last <clears throat> discussion. During our discussion? Well, just after our discussion, when I was putting back on my shoes. After our discussion? Remember, your rubber gloves had... Oh, yes, I... yes, of course. I recall now. Let's, let's not discuss that. No, you're right. Not now. Later. Later, of course, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Yes. Discuss what? What are we talking about? The case. Of course. Our interdisciplinary science team needs your help. What team? Our institute has gathered together the leading experts in many fields, including forensics and DNA analysis. Geneticists, biologists. Pathologists, phrenologists. Horologists, the pedicures. And the Munster Senior Badminton Champion. Big group. Yes, it's a think tank. And how are things in the tank? A very nice. There's a coffee machine. But you're not here about the coffee machine. Precisely, Miss O'Casey. We need you to help us find something. Something or someone? Someone. Something not easily explained. Okay, Robin. Try. Very well. Are you familiar with mummification? Somewhat. Mummies? Like Egyptians? Not necessarily, Mr. Griffin. There are different types of mummy. Some mummies are intentional. But others are the result of natural processes. Such as sinking in a bog. A bog? Yes. Such as one might find in Cork. Right, so you're missing some kind of bog mummy. Yes. What kind of mummy? Several weeks ago, in a foggy, soggy bog in the Glen of Glen de Glen down in Munster, a monster movie was being made about a... A mummy, right? A mummy monster movie in Munster. Not a monster mummy monster movie. A wonderfully weird werewolf movie. A wonderfully weird werewolf movie? They were shooting a scene when one of the actors came across a rather unusual find. Or rather, it came across her. It was a... A hand! A hand, a human hand, reaching up out of the bog like this, and it can't... Brendan, <laughs> Dr. Roach, it's... please! Don't do that. So, a human hand found in the bog. And the rest of him connected to the hand. Really? A whole body buried in a bog. A corpse, eh? A murder victim. So they thought. A body was found, so the guardie were brought in. But after the pathological examination, we were called. Why you? Because, Miss O'Casey, this body was carbon dated and discovered to be from Ireland's Neolithic age. You mean like when Newgrange was built? Yes, over 6,000 years ago. So naturally, we took the specimen to our laboratory, where we began a round of intrusive experiments. In an airtight, germ-free chamber. With probes and... jagged, and... shiny things. It was then that the real significance of the find became apparent. How so? What I am about to tell you defies every law of known science. And many unknown ones as well. It's horrifyingly wonderful. And wonderfully horrifying. The implications of our discovery meant endless research into the implications of our discovery. Oh, money, huh? Loads of it, for years and years. Nice. Go on. After thawing out the specimen, we discover that the mummy is... is... Yes? He's... He is a what? He's... Alive! He's alive! Dr. Dr. Roach! Calm down! <laughs> Brendan, uh, stop this display. I'm sorry, Vona. Dr. Hackett. So, a living mummy. 6,000 years old and as alive as you or I. 